Do pro-level riders use auto clutches like the Recluse? And particularly pro-extreme enduro riders? Well, there have been endless online debates about this for years. I get asked so often, <laughs> I figured a video would be a quicker answer in the long run. So, why the confusion? It's quite common to see Graham Jarvis and other riders using a recluse clutch cover. But it's not an auto clutch. For example, Graham is just using the recluse clutch cover, clutch basket and pressure plates with the standard clutch plates. What about Cody Webb? He says the benefit of sometimes using an auto clutch is simply because he has big problems with arm pump, but he always prefers the feel of a stock clutch. We spoke to former Extreme Enduro champion Chris Birch. He said none of the pro riders use an auto clutch in Extreme Enduro. The top riders have such good clutch skills, it can only cause problems. Other Extreme Enduro riders just use the Recluse clutch cover with a few possible benefits. It can be stronger than the stock one in some cases and does allow a bit more transmission oil capacity. And of course, if a pro rider or team gets paid to run the clutch cover for promotional purposes, then why not? Another point of confusion, Recluse offers a lot of products nowadays besides the auto clutch. And if riders feel that the stock clutch might not be up to the job, there are full manual clutch replacements available. And of course, these are not auto clutches. So that should wrap it up for pro level extreme enduro riders. What about pro motocross and supercross riders? Well, about six years ago, Recluse made a big promotional push into supercross and they do sponsor various teams. However, you will find when you look through the Recluse website and promotional material that they're usually using the generic term Recluse products. When you dig deeper, you often find that it is the aftermarket manual clutch kits and parts being used. Sure, there is the occasional rider using an auto clutch, but not very often. Check the Recluse website, you'll see what I mean. And of course, another area of confusion is people getting auto clutches and slipper clutches confused. Slipper clutches have been popular with some motocross and super motard riders, but they are a completely different thing. If you search this topic online, you'll see a lot of experienced riders saying, who cares what pro riders use or what they ride or what they wear? And I must admit, I am pretty skeptical too. Look, if Graham Jarvis uses anodized butt plugs or pink satin underwear or streamers on the end of his handlebars, hey, that's great. But he's riding at a completely different level to me. I don't really get this obsession <laughs> with what pro riders do or don't use. Keen to hear your thoughts on the issue. Like everyone, I have my own opinions about auto clutches. I've covered that in a video years ago. Really, it's whatever floats your boat, whatever turns your crank. Anything that makes your riding more enjoyable can't be a really bad thing.